Hey guys, what's up? Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica, India's largest biosciences portal and now India's most successful biotech app. Welcome to the video guys and today we are going to discuss about 10 things, 10 mistakes which you have to avoid in the next 60 days while you prepare for CSI on it. Yes, I'm going to give you 10 important tips today and we are getting started right now. All right, so the first point which I want to make is yes, this the time of exam has come. Yes, we have to get ready, but yes, you must not panic. You should never panic and in these decisive moments when you have to strategically plan and you know study, you should not panic. With the moment I say panic, I remember uh, our old days in the laboratory when we had to prick our finger with a needle and take out the blood and stain it and see the blood groups if you remember. So the, in those days I had a classmate who used to panic all the time each time he had to prick his finger and by mistake each time whenever he he has to prick he'll end up pricking in the wrong way right. He used to injure himself. Exactly the same thing can happen to all of you. If you panic you will end up injuring yourself in the exam not physically but definitely intellectually. So my first point which I want to make is do not panic, practice calm, practice peace and practice meditation. You should know that you are going to make it and we are right there to help you get there. Remember panicking is not the solution. Strategically planning is the solution, right? So listen to my next 9 or 10 points and that will help you strategically plan and land into the new year with a CSIR GRF. So why not move to the next point and see what all things we can do and what all things we should avoid so that we succeed in the next 60 days. Moving on to the second point. So the second point which I have brought to you is a very important point. In fact, the most important among all of them is blindly solving questions. Do not blindly solve questions. Now many students, the moment they listen, oh, exam is 60 days away or 30 days away, they'll take a big question bank, start solving everything and then think, oh, I have solved everything. That's a wrong approach, guys. No. Don't try to solve every question. Instead, focus on part C questions and then part B questions and pick out the hardest and the toughest questions for CSI Net. And one of the best ways to do that is the Toughnet question bank. The link is given in the description, which has got all the tough questions of CSI Net for you. You can go ahead and download and solve those questions. Okay, so this is a Toughnet available on Biotechnica stores. It will definitely help you. So moving ahead to my point number three, and my point number three is starting new topics. So you know, we all have been lazing around for past 18 months and suddenly, oh my God, exam explosion happens. On one hand, we were happy that okay, exam is happening. On the other hand, we were sad that, oh my God, my preparation is only halfway through. That is where the problem lies. We lazy around when things are not announced and then we panic. So first thing, don't panic. Second thing, yes, you have to solve only tough questions and the selective questions from part C. The third point which I'm making here right now is do not start new topics. Starting new topics, no matter how important they are, if you try to do that, you it will lead to a lot of confusions. Instead, focus on whatever you have studied in past 18 months because of course you have been preparing for past 18 months. You go and revise those because that is going to help you succeed. Starting a new topic, going into uncharted territory and trying to establish yourself as a pro is not going to help. Instead, wherever you stand, you have to strengthen on those units. You have to strengthen on those topics, okay? So that's a mistake number three. Do not do that. Do not start new topics. Instead, revise, 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 okay? Moving ahead to point number four. Now my point number four is referring multiple sources, multiple videos and getting confused. Now don't do that. Many students in an urge to have all the best resources in the entire world try to get every possible possible book which is there in the market and every possible video they watch which is there on the internet. Don't do that. 
follow one guru one book methodology don't you know jump for multiple gurus or multiple methodologies that will you know lead to more confusions and more uh, mental harassment i'll give you example when i was in class 8 i thought that i must become a topper of my class and i, I ended up buying every possible book in the market so what happened is you know i ended up writing an entire book of history or geography but i didn't get the marks but at the end of the day people see the marks not and uh, of course you don't get into phd without those marks right so you don't need multiple sources of information stick to one best source of information and then keep working on it this is my earnest you know request to all of you please do not listen to many people and get confused pick out your one guru and focus on that okay whether it is biotechnica or whether it is anywhere else okay don't you know confuse yourself listening to multiple people because that way you will not be able to make a decision and a person who cannot make decisions cannot make 145 decisions during the exam correct now what are those 145 decisions the 145 questions you have to decide which ones to solve which ones to leave so my request don't do that okay so that's my mistake number 4 now moving ahead to mistake number 5 so the mistake number 5 is not prioritizing important topics now the moment we get the dates or notification we start from a sequence okay let's start from unit 1 then unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 sequence is not going to help you the questions are not going to be asked in a sequence right so what's the point of studying in a sequence instead pick out and prioritize those units which is important if you want to know what are the important topics we recently held a webinar okay it was um, on a thursday last thursday and you can attend that webinar the recording is there on youtube you will know which topics to cover important topics needs prioritization you don't need to study everything or you know don't need to start from you know a to reach uh, b here you have to just pick and choose whichever is important right toppers focus on important topics nobody is going to give you a phd for completing the syllabus so don't do don't fall into that trap prioritize whatever is important and go for it so that's my point number 5 moving ahead to point number 6 so my point number 6 is starting revision but without a revision plan yes many students do that even i have been a victim of that if you do not plan no plan is equal to preparing to fail please plan it takes 30 minutes maximum 1 hour in worst case scenario it can take 1 hour also but if you have a revision plan prioritize which units you're going to take up first which topics you're going to take up first which date you're going to do what you have 60 days divide those okay and then you can finish it off okay that way you're going to uh, make it now another sub point of this i want to uh, highlight here is see no matter which guru you follow on internet or um, in your uh, personal life for studies for csi net you are going to write the exam not that guru nobody not even me it's you who has to write the exam so focus more on self study maximum 3 hours of uh, interaction with the teacher is more than sufficient okay at this juncture the next 60 days is a me time okay so do not spend more than 3 or 4 hours with the teacher instead focus on what things you are losing you know missing and then only discuss those things with the teacher okay instead if you you know think that i'll spend 6 to 8 hours listening to the teacher and attending classes it's going to help no okay and that's what we have done with the raftar batch which we have we are only going to teach you 3 hours because the remaining hours it's your hours where you do self study or any kind of revision and you come up with the doubts right so that's where this comes in so yes you need to start revise, revising but you must have a revision plan first okay so that's my point number 6 moving ahead to point number 7 point number 7 is keeping doubts till the last minute yes doubts are like poison in my previous video also i told you doubts are like poison so don't keep it inside you for long otherwise toxicity will increase because one doubt is connected to other concept one concept is connected to other concept that's how the csi net syllabus is concepts are interrelated right so that is where if you keep the doubt it will definitely lead to some kind of confusion some kind of uh, later uh, some kind of uh, uh, misunderstanding right of concepts so don't do that instead you can ask your doubts to your mentor okay so whatever i said 3 hours of classes 
you utilize that to ask doubts or maybe if you are enrolled into Biotechnica, you have 24 seven doubt solving facility in via chat and that is unlimited. So you can always ask that, okay? So that is where it comes. Doubts are like poisons. Do not keep the doubts till the end. And that was my point number seven. Moving ahead to point number eight. So my point number eight is not solving numericals and not solving part C questions. Now, we all get comfortable, right? We all want to be in a comfortable zone, right? For example, right now I'm here in the studio, so I want to be in the most comfortable position while I'm talking to you. The same way, we all want comfort. Our brain is programmed for comfort. So, you know, we feel that part C is not comfortable. Chordo. Part B, part A, let me, let me focus. But the problem is part C is the major, major scoring part and part C is where your rank lies. So my dear friend, do not ignore part C. And on the top of it, do not ignore numericals. See, whether you're good in maths or whether you're bad in maths, you know, a numerical based part C question, if you sniff it, solve it because those questions, it'll be easier to solve because they go behind logic, okay? Mathematical logic and it's very easy to understand and uh, derive a conclusion, right? So that is where it goes, guys. Do not skip on part C question and numerical based part C or part A, whatever questions it is, because numericals are easy to solve. So that's my point number eight, moving ahead to point number nine. So my point number nine is not keeping in touch with teachers or your mentors. Now, this happens with many students who have studied for like six months and then they are like, okay, I have studied enough. So I don't need to get in touch with my teacher. I'll just keep studying, studying, studying. And finally, I'll uh, go and write the exam. But remember, your teachers and mentors have passed through that phase, right? And they know the pitfalls. They know what mistakes they did and it is easier to learn from their mistakes instead of committing your own mistakes. So do not do that last minute. Please be in touch with the teachers, okay? Please be in touch with your mentors. Ask them what are the loopholes, what are the pitfalls, what are the mistakes I may end up doing. So warn me before I do that because a series of mistakes leads to a disaster. I want you to su succeed in CSINet. I don't want your CSINet to, to become a disaster. So if you want to do that, if you want to ha have that, then please be in touch with your teachers as well as mentors, right? So moving ahead to my point number 10. Now my point number 10 is a very valid point. And in fact, if that point doesn't exist, everything else goes away. And that is ignoring your health. Now your health has got two parts, mental health and physical health. Both must be in good shape. If both are not in good shape, then you cannot prepare for CSINet, you cannot go and write for CSINet, and even if you write during the exam, you may end up doing blunder if your mind is not focused, right? So to tame your mind, you need to do meditation. You, do, you need to do a lot of meditation, and please, please guys, last 60 days, please spare out at least 45 minutes to one hour of physical workout. Okay, running on a treadmill or just running around your neighborhood or maybe do, uh, doing some exercise. I have recommended so many apps in the past which you can use for exercise. If you are not fit, suppose the exam day, just before exam you are having a bad headache, everything is gone. So in, improve your endurance, improve your exercising capacity and capability so that that day you know, you've not been gone, you've not gone out for maybe past 5, 12 months and suddenly you're exposed to CSI and it chances are you'll fall sick or you'll have a headache. Avoid that, okay? So that's my point number 10. But hey, I have a bonus point number 11. Now this point number 11 is not joining the Raftar batch. Now Raftar batch or Raftar CSIR batch, which we have started, we are starting from 29th of November. This particular batch is focused and customized and designed only for students who are writing the January 29th CSINet exam. So if you are writing that exam, then please enroll in this Raftar batch because this is a three hours classes every day. You will get ample amount of time for self-study and the evening you can ask all your doubts and listen to the teacher. We already have given you a uh, guarantee that you are going to cover these many topics. So you already know what's gonna happen. And this is it guys, this is the best way to prepare because you're getting all the revision tools like Conceptica um, Lite and Concept Notes, Concept uh, um, Wheel or Concept Table, all those things are there in this uh, study package. So what are you waiting for? Attend the live classes for Raftar CSIR batch need for speed, but in the right direction. I'm including all the links for all these things in the description. Please check that out and yes, if you are still panicking, if you have still got some doubts, if you still have some kind of dilemma, 
please ask me. I would love to, our teachers would love to answer them because at Biotechnica, your success, our achievement. Please put those questions in the comment section and yes, please be in touch because in the next video, we'll keep coming with more such things, more such exciting and enduring things for all of you. Thank you so much. Please download our Biotechnica app because we have a previous year question paper, question paper series running up there, which you can also use and practice and that's a free uh, series running. So that's it guys. Thank you so much. Take care and all the best for CSIR 2022. And we are going to land there with Raftar. All the best.